China declares they are equal to, yes, U.S. in world power. This is an editor's choice report, so we're going to be talking about not just this story, but a few others. But this link is our, our what is it, fourth, fourth most popular uh, link that we've sent out today so far. So the editor's choice report is titled, China pushes for end to American world supremacy, promises, quote, fair, unquote, world order to replace it. And our top story, our top story for our editor's picks is, China's President Xi calls for end to hegemony and demands, quote, fair, unquote, world order in veiled jab at the U.S. Not really a veiled jab. And this is from RT. That's Russia. So remember that. So Russia's playing a, a double game there. The Chinese president has spoken of his wish to see a fairer world, which isn't dominated by a single country, as he called for an end to the artificial, quote, building of walls, unquote, and decoupling I'm not going to keep saying quote unquote. You can see the quotes for yourself. If you, and decoupling amidst simmering tensions with the U.S. It's not really. I mean, most of the quote unquote simmering tensions are really kabuki theater. I told you that the the corporate nationalists that the Biden administration is is mostly beholden to. Not that the Biden administration. That, that, not that they're all one hegemonic hegemonic oneness because there's. Like I, I'll say again and again, there, there's multiple top leaders in this corporate nationalist coalition that all find convenience to be aligned with one another, but secretly they're still looking at that mirror and only seeing themselves at the end. So, so there is that dynamic. But as far as China goes, the corporate nationalists in America are mostly aligned with China and see China as a very, very useful ally. But, of course, they can't be totally rolling over for China. And at the same hand, in the end, they, they do want China dead. And China wants them dead. Everybody wants everybody dead because there can only be there can be only one in this in this ruthless game. So this is a little bit more from RT. China's President Xi calls for an end to hegemony and demands fair world order. The Chinese president has spoken of his wish to see a fairer world, which isn't dominated by a single country. Speaking on Tuesday at the annual Boaca Forum for Asia, Chinese leader Xi Jinping said Beijing and its counterparts want to see the development of a fair global order. International affairs should be handled by everyone through consultation, and the future and destiny of the world should be controlled by all countries. He doesn't mean that. He, want, he means China. It should be controlled by China. The world should be fair, not overbearing. I mean, I agree with this, but... He doesn't mean any of this. A big country must look like a big country and show more responsibility. Hey, I like that band, Big Country. In a big... Never mind. I'm sorry. That's, that's wrong. Let's go to other stories in our editor's pick here. We have the FBI investigating drones that swarmed towns in the Midwest from futurism. Dan Rabitsky writing... But the investigation was called off, leaving local residents to hunt for their own answers. Swarm spotting in December 2019 and January 2020. Mysterious swarms of drones buzzed around the skies over Nebraska, Colorado, and Kansas, alarming both residents and local law enforcement. I remember when this happened back in the day. Years later, The Guardian reports. Let's get more on this one. This is interesting. Of course it is. Like what you see? No. Years later... I mean, I actually do like futurism in general. The Guardian reports the sightings remain a complete mystery and some deny they ever happened at all. <laughs> of course, this is a, it's what you do. Just no, 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 man. You know, gaslighting. Gaslighting is a thing. It's real. Even though people do abuse the term, it, it is real nonetheless. A short-lived investigation involving the FBI, the U.S. Air Force, the Federal Aviation Administration, and 16 police forces, police forces was called off in January 2020 when the sighting stopped, leaving people in the area seeking answers on their own. During the sightings, local residents and police would sometimes report dozens of drones in the sky in a single night, suggesting that some sort of coordinated effort was occurring. The drones were reportedly both larger and faster from what a hobbyist would be flying. That led to speculation that a government, either the U.S. or some foreign power, was engaging in surveillance or tech tests around an unsuspecting public. Yeah. A global tipping point for reigning in tech has arrived. Now, this is a story that really, really could could easily turn into a whole uh, topic report. Okay, whatever. You're not going to let me see this. Screw you. Screw you guys. I'm going home. All right. From w New York Times on December 9th, the Federal Trade Commission in nearly every state filled bar bipartisan lawsuits accusing Facebook of acting auto-competitively. 
Oh, anti. Oh, okay, that's better. I like auto. I wonder if auto competitively can be a word. We could figure out what it would mean. Anti competitively. Well, it's all about anti competition. Anti competitionism is at the heart of 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 all of the authoritarian forms of government and authoritarian forms of markets that there are today. The fascistic uh, corporate nationalist uh, powers that have emerged in America. They have emerged because at the heart of it is a desire not to have to compete with any, anyone. So less than a week later, European policymakers introduced a competition law and new requirements for blocking online. And this is, this is see, on one hand, the competition law, and then here, new requirements. So, so, so on one hand, they want a competition law. On the other hand, the states are happy to have corporate nationalists do their dirty work, do their censorship for them. That's essentially, and that, by the way, is classical fascism. That is, now, you could argue whether they're actually fascism because the argument is whether, is, is it the states that are zooming the markets or the markets zooming the states? In this case, it's not necessarily classical fascism, as I said before, because I think it's more of the markets controlling the states than the states controlling the markets. But it's really the markets, the quote-unquote markets, that are in control. And these are not, these are not free markets. These aren't quote-unquote capitalist markets. These are fascistic markets at this point highly fascistic markets in which the the exchange of value is entirely within two frames coercive and cooperative not consensual there's very little consensuality in our markets today and that's where you get actual quote unquote free market where you have consensual exchange cooperative exchange which is where a lot of quote unquote capitalists lie they're happy with cooperative exchange uh, but but my brother Bill, for instance, and him, him and him and Ralph Banco have written a capitalist manifesto, which outlines a path to actual consensual exchange capitalism as opposed to cooperative exchange capitalism. But uh, cooperative exchange is basically when you you simply have limited options and you call that the free market. And that's what we have here. Uh, nobody in the world is afraid of Joe Biden. Oh, so so go uh, back to this. So so again, blocking the online hate speech. That that's 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 fascist that's fascistic. Nobody in the free world is afraid of Joe Biden, and that's dangerous for us here at home. This is from the right. This is let's see who is this. This is from Breitbart. Okay, Breitbart. And then we have student success conference at Michigan State to segregate participants by skin color, and this I believe is legal insurrection. No, it's the college fix. Okay, college fix. And then woman who found man, man raping mentally ill victim recorded the attack and posted on social media instead of saving her. That's from the sun.uk. And finally, former Virginia Tech soccer player alleges coach forced her off team after standing for national anthem. That is from the Federalist. And, and well, hey, that that's your uh, that's your editor's choice report. <laughs>